anyway. finally we have a game where the plot items are actually useful things. Yes. And Holy shit. Well, now they're doing so Not even Zelda games do that. Oh, yeah. Looking at you, spinning top from Twilight Princess. <laughs> Looking at you. Everything in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> 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 okay, maybe I shouldn't be that harsh, but... I kind of want to. <laughs> Looking at you, half the rings in the Oracle series. Mm, Oracle series? I never heard of that. Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons. Is that a spiral both game? game. <laughs> they both Zelda they both games. the game. <laughs> oh, okay, that that makes more sense actually. They're for the Game Boy Color, I'm watching some one of my favorite Let's Play group hmm. play through them. It's, it's a, a matic, and it looks unusable. No. For those of you who have no clue what a matic is, it's a, it's a pick on one sand and a hoe on the other. It's used to till the earth and break up sod, which is that layer of grass on the earth where all of the roots are. Well, for some it's reason, here it's just a pickaxe. No, well, is it not actually a pickaxe? In reality, at least. Well, in, in the real world, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the land of East. That fucking monster stood no chance against you. Just. Do -do 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 -do. Well, Hello. I am the priest Dabby. It is. <laughs> it is good we that you have Dabby come. on them haters. <laughs> it is good that you have come, warrior. Let us dab. When trouble arose in the land, East was lifted into the sky with powerful dabbing. It if it came the source of all demon kind, unbeknownst to woes thereupon. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Dabbing is the source of all evil. <laughs> <laughs> Demons are a byproduct that of magic itself. They are the flip side of the coin. They are the inverse of the dab. <laughs> the, with magic... Walter. What? Here you go. Look on Discord. Oh, God. Put this over the screen as well. I'll have to do it while editing, because I can't look at it right now. It's a, uh, a Steam game called Dab Man, When the Haters <laughs> Dab Back. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding, and it talks about the power of the dab that no supervillain has ever seen. That's basically what this guy is. With magic, there shall always be demons. Inexorably. <laughs> To end this correlation, we need the goddesses, and so it falls upon you, warrior, to find them. Okay. Seems reasonable. Sure, why not? It's a, it's a general just MacGuffin of, Oh, ho, adventurer, only you can save the... Oh, you died. Ho, adventurer, only you can save the oh, land good. from the mystical evil thing. Hmm, Claria Ring. That's the Claria Ring. Yes, the rings are slightly different, and also they count as accessories. There's oh, also finally. a lot less of them. Oh. This ring huh. allows you to ignore damage every now and then. And it makes you glow. No, I think I glow all the time. <laughs> I don't know. What I do know is that you will ignore some damage sometimes. So, it's neat, but don't uh, rely on it too much. It apparently works on some bosses. Oh, thank god. What the fuck was that supposed to be? Some kind of salad. <laughs> Look at it! I can't tell what it is! I I hate this fucking demon though. Don't attack him in tight corridors because he will fuck you up. We have to find something in these caves, but I fucking hate him. I hate these caves so much. <laughs> Look at you just punishing that one demon every single time. Love, love. You might you might want to use a healing item. Wait a minute. What the fuck did they? Oh, I know where this is. This is this is towards boss, but we can't go to the boss. We are lacking a very important item to beat the boss right now. Which the I'm... evil bell. No, I'm really trying to find this item, but well, fuck me, I I just don't know how to get there. <laughs> this cave sucks. <laughs> I am the priest Gemma. It is good that you have come, warrior. I'd be, I'd be helping you, but the problem is you're moving so fast, I've got no fucking clue where you're <laughs> supposed to be. As demons were born of the power of magic, 
They are pitiable creatures with no purpose in life other than to fight and eventually to die. As has ever been the case with all living beings, their existence is dictated by their appearance. However, if you could speak with them, perhaps they would have more to say than expected. Who is this guy? Gamma. Gamma, Gamma, Gamma. Okay. Go down and go all the way to the left. Bypass the door you just came through. There we go. Right. Mm, delicious Cybermen. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mesa. Mesa? I, I am the. How are you doing, Mesa? I am the priest, Mesa. It is good it's that you come. Wait, it doesn't have two S's there. Oh. Here it has two S's, there it doesn't. Alright, I'm fine. So, so it's actually the priest Mesa. 700 years ago, Is was transformed into a massive arc in the sky, in hopes of escaping the threat of the demons. How At we've managed to survive that long without inbreeding, I do not know. At its summit sits Solomon's shrine. To reach it, you must climb the wall of ice and cross the moat of lava. How did the moat of lava not destroy the fucking ice wall? Don't ask, it's magic, I don't have to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic, man. I don't gotta I ain't gotta explain shit to you. Let's see, books. Well we only have one book left. The volume fact. But don't worry, you will not find the shrine in the mines. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, I cannot find it. You won't. That's the gimmick of that particular shrine. You will not find it here. And don't worry, it's okay. We will find it later. No, I've been here. Do you have what I want? <laughs> Give, Give me your money! <laughs> Give me your launch money. Give me all your launch money. Where is that fucking corridor that I need to be in? Is it here? I don't even know where you're going. Ah, yes. Found it. We have found... The fire magic. You found the fire magic. Well, that's great and all, except you're not supposed to find the fire magic in this shrine. According to this, you are in fact meant to find light magic. Well, they are wrong. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. They are Wait, no, incorrect. there is fire magic here. Um... Yeah, you find, you find light magic a bit later. I'm, I'm trying to find where it is on this fucking map so I can tell where you are, but I can't. I should be strong enough for old man uh, Jenkins' legs, man. <laughs> so let's try to get out of the cave, which uh, I think I'm doing right now. I think so yes. too. Yep. Man, it's impressive how ancient people learned how to make sliding doors. And here it took us like 2,018 years. <laughs> it only took him 700 years to do it. <laughs> oh yeah, in case you're wondering, no, you can't go through this door. It's locked. Nope, that will be facts, I'm guessing. No. That's actually super progress door. <laughs> oh, super progress. Oh yeah, super like progress. progress but better. Mm. It's like progress, but super. You seem to have some considerable sword experience. Still, your sword alone may not be enough to defeat all of the enemies who stand before you. If you believe you can, I'd ask that you defeat the demons over yonder and bring me the treasure they guard. These guys. Bye. <laughs> now you can destroy Fuck, them. They were wimpy as shit. <laughs> you have acquired the Rod of Divinity. Beautiful. Let's go back to legs. Swordsman, that which you hold is none other than the Rod of Divinity. I know, the tooltip told us. I know, the game told me. The what? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's just what I assumed would be in that treasure chest. Well, fuck you too. A statue up ahead represents the two goddesses of East. The Rod of Divinity signifies one who is worthy to lead. The magic of the priest shall be inherited only by its bearer. If you touch the rod upon the goddess's statue, I believe you will receive the ability to use magic. From this point on, your magic power shall surely show you the way. Well, let's equip it then and see for ourselves. I think the rod of divinity is just like a weird oak staff. 
The moment Adol touched the rod to the goddess statue, he felt a surge of energy course through his body. And there you have it, you now have mana. Nice. And now you can equip, you equip the magic. Fire magic. And you can shoot magic. You can also shoot people. I was about to say, you can use all your magic up. But it seems to recharge to exactly one lower than it was before. Yeah. You really did trigger me, I'm sure. The way magic works is in this game is, well, depending on what kind of magic you're using, of course, is that... Uh, oh, wait a minute, we have a mad we can get something here. Is that uh, when you use it, you... F well, in the case of fire magic, at least, you first drain the active bar, as I like to call it, which is the bar that recharges. Then you have the total bar, which is, well, the total amount of mana you have at any given time. The more you use your magic, ah. the more the total bar is drained. But uh, in the case of fire magic, uh, you don't have to worry about the active bar, because that just means how many shots you can do before you have to reload. Oh, okay. This doesn't work the same way with other spells, because other spells work drastically differently. As in, this is the only spell that actually shoots stuff. <laughs> but that's okay, because the other spells are actually very useful. My favorite is Altar. And Shield. <laughs> oh. But no, we'll talk about those when we get them, which is... Oh, very, very later. <laughs> At least in the case of Altar and Shield. I have absolutely no fucking clue where you are. This I'm map so... is useless, because it's just so confusing. Oh, uh, don't worry. I tried to go through this by just reading the the text guide. <laughs> oh god. You want to talk about useless? Well, there you go. <laughs> One thing I need to find now is Dr. Flair. Where is that punk-ass motherfucker? What you're looking for specifically... That was a flea roll! A what? <laughs> I don't know, it's marked on the map here. I hope he don't. What are the items you can find? I, I have no idea. <laughs> what we're looking for specifically is like a cave-in that you can interact with. However, I keep walking the wrong way. And uh, unfortunately for Tash, there's nothing he can do to follow me because fuck this place. <laughs> I think I figured out where you are. I'm in the Sanctuary of Toll again. I think I'm at Gemma's place. Yeah, that looks like Gemma. Let's see. Yes, this is Gemma. Yeah. So I need to find Dr. Flair from here. Okay, one second. There it is. Gemma. Four. Okay, I think I figured out where it is. Let's try it. Go back. Okay, so go back to where you were before. Go through there. Go through the left-hand side. Go through the left-hand side again. No, right-hand side, sorry. No, not that one, the other, the big one. Yeah, down that way. Now go mm -hmm. down and to the left, and then down again. Then to the left, and then up. No, this is lead this leads to the boss, I think. I'm... Yes. Yeah, that, that's the boss, okay. We could um, beat it, actually. It? Yeah, go beat the boss. Because to beat this boss, you do need the magic. In fact, for all I'll the bosses, you need the ass. magic. Velagunda. Velagunda. I like that this one just calls him the Red Eye Guy. Okay. Another thing you can do with the fire magic is charge it for powerful shots. This boss isn't too oh, hard. Oh, point for a massive damage. You've actually got to shoot his eye, I take it? Yeah, you gotta hit him right in his eye. If you want, you can shoot his arms and blow them up to make it easier to hit him. But it'll take a lot of effort to do this. So it's probably better to just aim for the weak spot instead. Heal. Well, I could probably use a heal, yes. There you go. Thankfully, you can Whoa. heal in the middle of a fight. And nice, no break in the action, I'm liking this! And in, on easy mode, you can switch items and magic. Holy shit, nice. So oh. if, if you're really having a hard time with this game, just play on easy. 
I mean, if you want to. Otherwise, just... This guy has a fuck ton of health! Well, it's not that he has a lot of health, it's just that we're not very strong. See, magic damage is uh, scaled by strength. So you need to level up to be able to do more damage with magic. However, we should be able to beat him with our current stats fairly easily. Oh, I feel oh, like yeah, it doesn't take a heck of a long time. I feel at this rate, though, my inaccurate shots are gonna blow up his arm first. <laughs> <laughs> Which would have been the first time I've seen it, actually. I didn't blow it up the, the first time I fought him. One more should do it, and there he goes. There we go. Level up! Level up! Twice the level up. Nice. And double the Vami for him. I'm guessing if you go out there... It doesn't say it connects to anything. Oh, okay, now I know where you are. Yeah, I'm in the big mine area where we can find light magic and other stuff. If you go all the way down, you're gonna get to somewhere down. We can also pick up some items which we'll, we will need later on, so it's not a bad idea to visit this place first. That's what I'm saying. There's an area to your left. Should be not quite here, somewhere around here. Yes, we do need some Dude. of these. Beautiful flowers. The Salsetta flower. This will be required for the plot to move on, but I think you can pick up extras. Yeah. It's not letting me though. Hold on. Oh, never mind. Uh, you can, but you can only hold one at a time. You go all the way down to the bottom section and then hold the left there. That left? For the purposes of uh, the main plot, this is necessary for... Well, the main plot. Don't want to spoil anything yet, but... Afterwards, you can collect additional Salsetta flowers to use them as uh, full heals, I think. Yeah. Nice. They are full heals and mana restores. Damn, what's right, nice. You seem hurt. to only be heading towards. I think there's also some sea. Oh, no, not, not quite here. Not there? If you go up a little bit? There are some secret passages. Hug around. the left wall. Hug the left wall. Yeah, here Down we go. There. The you also missed one earlier. The thing about secret passages is that you do not need to actually see them to be able to use them. Yeah, you just However, have to know where they are. Light magic does allow you to actually see secret passages. There's nothing over there. There was one you missed earlier though that leads to an iron orb. Oh yeah. Well, we'll pick it up uh, along the way. We're heading straight for it. Was yep. It? Yeah, it's back uh, towards where the start of this set. God damn, was well, nights take forever to go. I might as well just ignore them for the time being. Uh oh. <laughs> Get out the way, please. Oh no. There you go. That would be it. That'd be light magic. Light magic. This uh, type of magic is actively used. And you don't decide to, uh, to just shoot it or whatever. Once you select it, it's activated. And not only does it illuminate your surroundings, it also, well, allows you to see secrets like I mentioned. They will appear as we'll ripples. See if goes past that. Yeah, you see, you see so. those ripples on the wall? That's that's your indicator that this is a secret over there. And I might die. I hope I don't. Oh! Well, I should be fine. Oh, well, you can get you can get the iron orb, orb now. Was it in this area specifically? If you go down all the way to the bottom. Okay. Go down to the bottom of this specific area and then hug the bottom wall. Keep going, keep going. It'll be to the right a little bit. About there. Oh, here we go. There are two pieces it says it's of in a box. Yeah, here it is. There are two pieces of iron ore in the game that you can find. Oh, ore! It says orb! Ah, that, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's in total two iron ore pieces that you can find in the game. In different locations, of course. <laughs> which you can later on sell to Gaido. 
There's some interesting stipulation on how to force Gaido to pay you 6,000 gold coins for the ore. But I don't know exactly how to do it. I tried to follow the guides and it just didn't work. I think it's kind of random or it, the stipulation is difficult to work with. But it's Probably to do with friendship. No, it's something to do with plot actually. I don't know where that cart is. Uh, there you go. So if you don't really want to go for the stipulation and get double the money, you don't have to because you still get a shitload of money for selling the ore. You get 3k by default. That seems pretty good. It is. I mean, we've already got 2.3k from killing monsters, so... Go up. You want to go up here. Yes, I, need, I need the light magic. But I, what I also need is to lure away the fucking knights before they start laying the fuck smack on me. Oh yeah. I always forget about the knights. I remember getting here when I was able to hurt them a lot more. <laughs> well, keep killing them and you will be. They're worth 15 each. Not too bad. Yeah, but that damage though, look at that. I'm hardly hurting them. <laughs> yeah, but they're also not hurting you all that much either. As long as I don't run into them dead center. That's when you start taking damage. I could be damaging everything actually. Like the, the light magic guys. again. Yes. Well, I didn't forget it, I just ran back to kill other things too. Just grind a bit more. Fuck. Uh oh. Oh damn it! They did it again. Good thing I wow, said. Oh, they really hit hard. They do. I got to use your magic on them. It might not be very effective, actually. Yeah, it's about as damaging as my Fuck current me. blade. If not a little less, actually. You have the Evil Bell, by the way? Yes. Evil Bell will be necessary for finding the last uh, uh, priest, actually. The, the Lost Priest is actually Dark Fact. Uh, not really, actually. It was a joke, dude. <laughs> well, you're not entirely wrong, though. <laughs> no, he is the Priest of Fact. Yeah, and Dark Fact is a descendant of Fact. Of course. Don't forget to save. Already level 14, jeez. <laughs> wow, you leveled fast. I love this light. Well, I think I, I think uh, the ring activated on that hit because I didn't take damage. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> That's some knight abuse. <laughs> I like that the other knights just, just not even facing you, not even acknowledging. They're just like, I'm not gonna watch him beat up my best friend. <laughs> well, he doesn't have a head. He can't tell. <laughs> oh yeah, here you go. Ripples. That indicates secret passages. I'm not sure why this is being indicated as secret passage as well. It's not a secret. I think it just represents passages. It could be, it yeah. There are also other uh, useful applications for the light magic. It allows it to see secret enemies. Later on there will be some enemies that like to turn invisible. Or, well, Fuckers. mostly invisible. With this magic, you'll be able to see them clear as day. Do keep in mind, though, I said that this is an active spell, which means as long as it as you have it equipped, you will be losing mana. And it doesn't seem to be losing that much mana, though. No, it's one of the lighter uses. But you will be actively losing from your total bar, not the active bar. Anyway, I'm gonna heal up from Gemma, and yep. we still gotta find Flair. <laughs> okay, I'm going to guess Flea Rawl on this map is Dr. Flair. It has to be, because I have no fucking idea what the what Flea Rawl is. Alright, so give me a second to work something out. Six, where's five? Okay, I found it. Go through the middle one there. Go through the left one. Don't forget the herb. 
Okay, there are. Oh, yeah. Go through the middle one. That does remind me. These herbs and flowers you find, they regrow after every five minutes. Ah, go through the middle one. Go above and go into that one, not the left one, the one on the right. Oh, yeah, because the left one goes go to the Go in sanctuary. the middle one. Go all the way to the right. Wait, no, go back. I fucked up. This map is confusing. All right, go back to the left. This left? Yes. Go into the right-hand side. And from here, there's a straight shot. Oh, yeah, here you go. Just equip the mattock. The path is blocked by rubble from a cave-in. There's a small hole, however, just big enough for a bird. Explains... Because how the pigeon got out. Yeah, that explains how the pigeon got out with the message. Not how it managed to get through all the monsters, but how it got out of there. Has someone come to rescue me? No, no we are the monsters. Uh, this is your Uber? <laughs> 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 You're not a demon, I hope. So what if I am? It's an introduction. It'll they, uh, introduce himself. Party. I'm Flair Rawl. Oh. It is! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Flea Rawl. A doctor from Lance. Thank you for coming to my aid. I trust you received my letter. If you had I a like how calm he is. He's not freaking out at all. If you had a mattock, you could use it to dig a path through the fallen stones. I don't suppose you have one, though. Yeah, I do. Watch this. Boom. 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 Two hits. Adol is fucking crazy. And you get XP for this. <laughs> and you leveled up. Hell yeah, boy. Hello. Thanks for your help, young man. Why not ask your business here? You seem to be a traveler. It all told Dr. Flair Rawl all about his arrival in East and explained that Lilia had brought him to Lance. Well, ah. that won't sound like the ravings of a madman at all. Ah, so Lilia came to your aid, did she? That's no surprise. She's got a good heart, that one. Oh, is that a letter for me? Yes. Now is when we give him the letter, not when we're back in town. Oh dear, this is awful. It seems Lily has fallen ill. I'm going to need a rod of fruit and a salsetta flower in order to cure her, and I'll need them fast. Here you go. <laughs> I haven't seen a rod of fruit in a long time, but they used to be commonplace out in the ruins. And the salsetta flower only grows in dark areas close to bodies of water. You might find some deeper in the mine, but this is as deep as I'd ever dare go myself. I'm no warrior. Please, Adol, would you look for a road of fruit and salsetta flower? Yes. We already did. I'm going to head them. back to the clinic. Remember, we need the items. We have them. We literally have them, motherfucker. Right. Now, let's look through the item list. Are we missing anything? I don't think so. I have the ore, I have the bell, the maddock, the salsetta flower, the magic. Is there anything else I'm missing? Because I cannot nope. remember. I'm looking through the list, you are not missing a damn thing. Good. Then that means we can backtrack the fuck out of here and go home. Alright, hold up, hold up. I know how to get home. I... Oh, good. That is one thing you learn in this place. How to get out. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it just looks like you're running into random holes. But I've got no clue what's going on. You kind of have to learn how to get out, because otherwise, you can't. You don't have wings at this point. Oh, Mr. Halal, please heal me. Uh, the name is Hadal? <laughs> so curious, by wings you mean an item that'll effectively teleport you. Yeah. There was only one wing in the first game, it was a wing that returned you to the main city. Yep. Though to be honest, we won't be requiring those wings. More on that later. Anyway, let's go to the city. We can sell the ore and get some fat loot. Well, maybe you could even be able to afford the town war. Maybe. Fuck it, let's try. That would be some sweet stuff right there. Welcome. If I had some iron ore, I'm sure I'd be able to stock better weapons and armor, but I stand by what I have. 
Hey now, is that the unmistakable glint of iron ore I see? Or doth my eyes deceive me? Haven't seen iron around here in a long, long time. I bet Laszlo could really use some. How's 3000 gold sit with you? No, you can't do that uh, thing from the first game where if you say no 10 times, he will change the price. It doesn't work that way. Oh. Anyway, you have money. Let's see what you got. A Talwar. Talwar. Now, is this not a work of art? This curved blade has an exceptionally fine cutting edge. It takes a fair degree of skill to use it. It's 5,000 gold. Do it. <laughs> Perfect. That's actually a very good jump from short sword to the tall war. And oh yeah. And for a while, I don't think we'll be getting anything better to use, so this is a good item to get. Because... Just keep in mind, damage, like, you're already not taking a lot of damage thanks to a combination of things, so you want to really dish out the damage is your primary focus on early game. When you start getting into harder and harder enemies, then it becomes a more defensive game. You did it! You found the things! That's basically what they said. <laughs> and done. Here is the medicine for Lilia. This will completely cure Lilia's illness. We never really find out what the illness is. Generic illness. Same as in old games. What we do know is that it is uh, debilitating and dangerous, so we just feed it to her and she'll be fine. Is that the medicine to cure my daughter's illness, truly? Thank the goddesses. You have no idea what a hero you are to her, and to me as well. Truly with this medicine, Lilia shall live to see another day. Yes.